All right, so we have gone on a beautiful dive. We have done our beautiful computers. We, we, we've got everything that we we're supposed to do, and it was wonderful. What now? What do we do with that computer? What do we do with the information on the computer? Why did I get the computer if I can't see the information? Let's go through that next. Hey, fellow dive family, my name is Chris, and here at Just Keep Diving, I like to help you scuba dive on a budget where I help you save money while enjoying our sport. That means enjoying the dive and being able to afford some food on hand on land at, other than Waffle House, unless you like Waffle House. Waffle House is good, but sometimes when you go diving, you can't even afford that. Now, that being said, what's today's subject? Today's subject is scuba diving computer software. Is that right? And I'm words right. What I mean is, is I got this computer right here. It's got a lot of information on it. But how do I use this information on that computer? I don't know. Let's go through it today. Are you ready? And we should go to the laptop now. Here we are on my lovely, beautiful screen. Um, as you can tell, some of my other stuff. So what we're doing here is we're going to our diving log. I like uh, out of the three or four that I have on here. Actually, I think I have three. So go over here to the e dive to the dive log 6.0. I like that one. Oh, my computer didn't just screw up. Reset my computer. So we we'll go to view. Click on mine. View logbook. Minimize this for a second. Download. Now I have to you have to play around with this one. If you notice here, it's got three different wisdoms. I tried the wisdom two, which is what mine is, and it says that it's downloading. So let's see what happens now. Go with wisdom, hit download. Okay, I'm reset my computer. Now here it can be one of many things. It can be A, you don't have it on the right comm, you don't have it on the right computer. It can be B, you don't have your computer turned on or plugged up hopefully we can pass that it could be C I'm hoping that's what this is you just don't have it turned over to the PC dies all right so there we go we're starting to download dies oh, through the magic of editing we'll go through all this all right here is where mistakes can be made it stopped right here I know for a fact that this video or this dive and this all of this is not in my dive log. I also know that the 18th was a beautiful day in Kailami in Jupiter. I started my vacation on the 11th, I believe. Maybe the 12th. May started diving on the 12th. Five thirteen two thousand seven. That would be Mother's no, two thousand eighteen. That would be Mother's Day. Sixty seven feet. Yep, that is about what thirty five feet. Or excuse me, fifty eight feet. That's approximately Destin's depth. I know I didn't dive on September 9, 2010. Know that for a fact. Did I have this computer then? Maybe I did. 130 feet on the 20th. Yeah, that's a test dive. That's whenever they took it and went. Uh, 
I put it up in the shop. So 130 feet, I know I didn't do that. 86 feet on the 11th, the 11th, and the 13th, and the 13th. That sounds to me like Mother's Day weekend of May. So we'll go ahead and hit next. Like I said, this is where you could accidentally overwrite stuff. So, with the crossed fingers, hit next. Mm -hmm. We'll just add to the end of the logbook. We can adjust that. All done with the download. Now, if you noticed, if you notice here, there are overwrites. 716 bench test. I got a 716 in here too. I don't know if it's an actual overwrite. 9.42 a.m. Bench test. Die book 33. Duh. That may act maximum death 88 feet for the 16th. Well, let's check. That may be an overwrite. Because if you notice, I have two. There's an 88 feet bench test, or not bench test. So I can go in there and the ones that I've copied over, I can go ahead and uh, delete. Now, why do I like this so much? One, because of that right there. But two, let's just say, I know we started vacation on the 12th. I also know this is dive number 40. Well, I don't know if it's dive number 41 or not because I've got to go in and go through them on my doubles. Then I got to compare it to my logbook. But, so for right now, I know for a fact this is my start of vacation time, 712. Start tank pressure, 2828. Ending tank pressure, 7064. My air temp, all this is off the computer, okay? I know all everything else, visibility, that kind of stuff, I can actually put in. This, I actually already have in USA. Uh, I'm going to have to add in vacation, or this was Key Largo, dive site, buddy, my tanks, aluminum. But there's also additional information where I can put in over here where the trip, I can actually add a trip, where it's vacation 2018. Uh, the type of diving we did, was it instruction, um, was it a wreck? See, I don't know how to consider a sunken ship. An intentionally sunken ship is an artificial reef, but it's kind of considered both, a wreck dive and a reef dive. So I don't know how, anybody who knows how to consider that, let me know, I'll be glad to, to, to update. All right, so anyway, so let's go back in there. You know, start with the log books. All right, so we say we have all this information in here. We'll do the Destin Bridge Rubble. Say we got all this information in here. Sounds good, doesn't it? So what does it mean? Well, over here to the graphic, or uh, is it additional? Profile. That's what it means. Now you can physically see your dive. How'd you do? All right, what in the heck is all this up and down, up and down, up and down? Well, actually, on the Bridge Rubble, it's going around the rocks. All right. So you notice your ascension rate is good. You got a good, fairly level, fairly level, uh, freeform. Were you on an anchor line or were you freeform? I was actually based off of the anchor line. And, uh, but I was off, sitting off to the side of the anchor line. If you notice, I didn't really deviate that much. My ascension rate after my uh, safety stop, that is usually my my problem area. That right there, I'm normally heading for the boat. So, want to see where I screwed up? All right, let's go to a screw up. I know for a fact it's a screw up. I said, good, quick, quick to bottom rate. Okay, now I'm at the bottom. I'm enjoying my time. Bottom is right around 65-ish, almost 70 feet. Enjoy my bottom time. Come up. If you notice my angle of ascent there, not too bad. Good hover time. Very bad. 
ascension rate right there. I hate that ascension rate. And I paid for it too. I had a headache after that dive. Now, notice this one came up. My hover time wasn't that great. In fact, I barely had any. I think I was swimming under the bottom of the boat at this time. Yeah. Swimming underneath the bottom of the boat. Um, this one I was swimming underneath the bottom of the boat. Good hover time, good safety stop, everything going great. Bam. Now, let me tell you, let me show you this. If you notice, no subtopic of the date, time, dive time, and maximum depth. There is also information that gives you surface interval. But wait a minute, no surface interval is calculated. Why not? Well, if you look here, down here to the left, my last dive was 9 10 2018. Then it was 10 6 2018. Now watch this. The next surface interval actually already put up in there. One hour, two minutes surface interval. We had a good silver interval there. 24 hours later, 22 hours, 10 minutes. 34 minute surface interval. We were actually doing some training on that day. Now, one hour, 30 minutes. It will put the surface interval in there for you. Everything here is in there for you that automatically comes from the computer. So you don't have to worry about that. And that is pretty much how you do it. Of course, you know, make sure you hit save whenever you get done. And there you go. So let's back up to the camera. Okay, so that was it. That was all, that was all we got. Now, that being said, this was just a brief overview of the dive program, one of three dive programs I have on my computer. I know there's many more dive programs out there. I also know they can be Bluetooth to your phone. I'm not sure what dive program I want to invest in. That being said, if you know of a dive program, send it to me because I will be glad to go through the overview and all that. And if it seems to be affordable, I'm going to pick the, by March, I am going to pick the most affordable, affordable, easiest to use, and easiest to understand dive software program. This has got to be those three things. Affordable, usability, and understandability. Now, that is also a challenge for you dive software programmers out there. Yes, I know. There is Bluetooth from a computer. I know that. But I got to be able to afford it. I've got to be able to understand it. And I've got to be able to use it easily. Easily. Because some of us out there aren't exactly tech savvy. My challenge to you, fellow divers, if you know, bring it. I'll go through it. We'll figure it out. March. Those of you that have helped me find out what the software programming is, I'm going to go scuba diving with you. I will find out where you're at. We will get in communication and we will go scuba diving next year using that software. Now, that being said, again, my name is Chris. This is Just Keep Diving with Scuba Diving on a Budget. I am here to help you afford our diving, our beautiful sport of diving. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit the notifications. Just keep diving. Scuba diving on a budget.